I have been pretty pessimistic when it comes to Samsung's lineup of foldable phones, namely the Galaxy Z Fold series. Pessimistic is probably too nice of a word because when looking at the rest of the market, it is abundantly clear that Samsung is no longer the market leader. As the rumors and leaks made headlines, whatever excitement I had for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 quickly dissipated. And during Galaxy Unpacked, the larger foldable seemed like an afterthought, taking a backseat to the Galaxy Ring and even the Galaxy Z Flip 6. I understand that Bucastel foldable phones aren't as popular likely due to their higher prices, along with the fact that not everyone wants or cares about the benefits of having a mini tablet that fits in your pocket. So while many, including my colleague Derek, prefer a flip phone, it's just not my cup of tea. Samsung announced the Galaxy Z Fold 6 at its unpacked event on July 10 alongside an array of additional Galaxy devices. The phone is currently available for pre-order ahead of its launch on July 24, with a starting price of US$1899 for the 256GB base model and maxing out at US$2259 for the one terabyte version. Additionally, there are a total of 5 colors to choose from pink, navy, silver, shadow, crafted black, and white. However, the latter two colors are only available if you purchase the Galaxy Z Fold 6 directly from Samsung's website. The dream for foldable tablet phones is appearing to be a standard single screen smartphone when closed, with the surprise of the second screen revealed as you unfold them. This dream requires folding phones that are as thin as a regular flagship phone like the Galaxy S24. With the latest iteration of the dynamic and fun Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, Samsung inches closer to the dream. This is the lightest and thinnest Galaxy Fold that Samsung has ever made. It's also my favorite. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy Z Fold 6 at Samsung Galaxy Unpacked in Paris on July 10 alongside the new and now similarly redesigned Galaxy Z Flip 6 and a host of other new Galaxy hardware including watches, earbuds, and the eagerly anticipated Galaxy Ring. When folded, it is still roughly twice as thick as a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or an iPhone 15 Pro Max. The 7.6 inch flexible AMOLED screen still has a crease at the hinge but it is now just 9 gram heavier than the Ultra. And where the cover screen was once too narrow to use, it is wide enough to make typing almost a pleasant experience. Of course, if you make the outer screen wider, the inner screen gets a little bigger too. And and the extra screen real estate is appreciated. A fast and powerful 5G phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is built on a foundation of versatility. It's a nice 6.3 inch smartphone that is easy to grip and responsive to touch. It's also a 7.6 inch tablet that is up to virtually any task from movies to email drawing doodles to serious multitasking productivity. That main screen, by the way, is brighter and more resilient than ever and while I didn't taste its durability, I can see the extra brightness with my own eyes. It's a screen that looks vibrant and responsive indoors. With a solid One UI platform backed by Android 14 and a deep well of Galaxy AI capabilities, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is the complete package. I have enjoyed using it from the moment I picked it up in Paris then at home for hours on end. The improvements between the Galaxy Z Fold 6, Dimensions and the Galaxy Z Fold 5 can be measured in a few millimeters but they make a difference. Folded, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is slightly wider, slightly shorter and significantly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Samsung has also managed to reduce the phone's weight. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is just 239 grams, which is only 7 grams more than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Carrying such a lightweight multi-purpose device in my hand or my pocket is a pleasure. 
the weight reduction helps and this phone also looks great the new design is a welcome improvement in look and feel it should be plenty durable and the gorilla glass victus 2 and armor aluminium the same material used on the galaxy s24 samsung refined everything from the speakers to the camera array the buttons are flat and elegant everything about the look says pro too there is no pro in this flagship's name over almost six years, Samsung has done all it could to strengthen its foldable phones and their moving parts. In the Galaxy Z Fold 6, it added more steel to the dual rail hinge and has more or less sealed it from the elements. The phone has an IP48 water resistance rating. It's worth noting that the seal is not permanent and may lessen over the life of the the Galaxy Z4 6. There is also no real dust resistance on this phone. The 4 in IP48 means the Galaxy Z4 6 can withstand large objects poking its hinges, but dust and anything under 1mm might cause trouble. Samsung told me it added a new protective layer to its now thinner mini screen. It's essentially like a non-Newtonian fluid that is flexible when you are gently moving it but toughens up instantly if it encounters a hard or sharp object. Of course, even though the new screen is tougher, you can't use the same S Pen as a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or other flat Samsung phone or tablet. You must use the softer rubber S Pen for fold lest you risk damaging the screen. As smartphones look more and more alike, so manufacturers differentiated their designs with unusual and sometimes ill-conceived camera arrays. If I were in charge, I'd aim for stability or at least what Samsung has done with the Galaxy Z Fold 6, polish and professionalism. The three camera array on the back is prominent, but I like how each lens looks a bit like a prosumer camera lens. That's the good news. The not so good news is that Samsung didn't do much to upgrade this array and the cameras on the last Z Fold 5 were a disappointment. This is essentially the same camera specs as you'll find on the Samsung Galaxy S24. Here is how the three cameras break down. 50 megapixel wide angle, f1.8 aperture, 12 megapixel ultra wide, f2.2 aperture, f field of view is 123 degrees, 10 megapixel 3s optical zoom with aperture 2.4. It's a good set of cameras and I took dozens of lovely photos in Paris under all sorts of conditions. Colors and sharpness are good across the board. Low light performance is generally fine. Macro photography is non-existent. Portrait mode image of people and pets was gorgeous. I'm especially impressed with the color quality and details. This is clearly due to Samsung's significantly updated Pro Visual Engine which is the computational bit of a Samsung smartphone photography pipeline. It just gets better and better at understanding reality. That's it, Samsung still makes skies too blue. Here is some camera samples of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is Samsung's most comprehensively thought out foldable to date. The cleaner, more pro design looks fantastic. 
it's comfortable to hold and pocket and is far more versatile than your average phone. It's thinner with a less noticeable crease and that's a major bonus. So is the banked in Galaxy AI which is not always useful but can be tremendous fun. The cameras could be better but I still like the images they capture. The price may be my single biggest sticking point but you may want to hunt for good deals because the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is so worth it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.